living as an uh, LGBTI person in Chechen Republic is, is, is almost impossible. You, you can't come out of your closet because it's very closed society, so you have to live your life in complete secrecy. That, that's very tough, that's very uh, difficult, of course. And then, upon this, we had this purge of anti-gay um, anti purge, where people were um, hunted down, to be honest with you, and kept in, in secret detention, were tortured, were forced to give information about other gay people, and then they were handed over to the family again, with the urge of the family to get rid of the problem, in, in, in a very uh, literary way. So, this was really some we need to address as Council of Europe. Um, our top priority is not just to promote but to protect the human rights of very vulnerable people and this is a very very vulnerable group of people within uh, our European uh, context. The added value of, of uh, this report and of, our, uh, of, of, of the, the, the Council of Europe, the Parliament Assembly of the Council of Europe, is that we ask for concrete uh, measures, not just by the Russian Federation, the Russian authorities, but also by individual member states. Um, let me start with what we ask for the, uh, from the Russian authorities. They should start as soon as possible an impartial and a full investigation into what happened in, in Chechnya, so there can be no impunity whatsoever for the perpetrators. I think that's very, very important. Um, on the other hand, we ask uh, all individual member states to offer protection uh, to those victims, not just to the victims, but to the witnesses of those crimes and to uh, family members as well, as they also become very vulnerable within the closed society the Chechen society is. We invited the Russian ombudsperson to take part at the hearing, but she refused uh, to, be, uh, to join the hearing and she referred to the, this complex and difficult situation, uh, collaboration with the uh, Council of Europe nowadays.